Hi, this is Mrs. Castanelli, and today I'm going to show you two different ways to cut out an image. One where you actually cut out the image, and the other one where you mask it. So this is a picture of my mom from her wedding. So we're going to start over here. Press and hold right here where you see the Quick Selection Tool or the Magic Wand. We're going to use the Quick Selection Tool. You can adjust your brush size of your selection tool over here. And that looks fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push this marquee around. And what it's doing, it's locating the edges of my image. And go kind of slow. And it's okay if it goes outside the edges because that happens sometimes. And you'll notice over here it's selected part of this. So I'm going to come back up here and go subtract from selection. And this is when it might be nice to make your brush a little bit smaller so you can be more precise in your um, in your edges here. And so you're just going to go around and, you know, you can go back and forth if you went too far. Be, might be a good idea to zoom in at this point. So now you have this marquee going around your image. And what we're going to do is we are going to come up here to edit and we're going to copy everything that's inside the marquee. And then if you go edit paste, it will paste everything that's in the marquee over here in the layers panel. So if I hide the background, you can see that the image is um, cut out on a new layer. And if you wanted to fine tune it, you could come here with your eraser tool and you could erase out the parts that you do you do not want and you can adjust all the edges so but remember every time you're doing this now you're you're changing the pixels of this image and so this is a, a little bit more destructive to do it this way but it also allows you to to cut out the image you still have the original image here if you want it back again but what some students do here is just drag this background image into the trash and then they just have the layer. But I'll just leave it there for now. So the second way is basically the same way. We're going to take the second image now. Once again, we're going to come over here to our quick selection tool and using the same technique we did before, I'm going to push the marquee around until I find the edges. It's always nice to use an image that has good contrast between the edges and the background. Once again, I'm having the same problem where it's selecting too much of the background. But when you mask it, it's not as much of an issue. So notice here, I have this marquee around here. But if I come over to this layer and I double click on this lock to unlock the la background layer so I can actually manipulate it and I come down here to layer mask, you'll see it puts black all around the background and temporarily hides it and allows nothing to show through. And what we've learned with mask is if you come over here with your brush tool and if you use black, now you may want to do a a command plus to zoom in a little bit closer because now you when you mask you're just basically with this arrow tool with this black brush tool sorry is that you're masking the edges and so when you're fine-tuning this way it's not destructive because whoops if you make a mistake you can just switch the brush tool back to white and you can place the mask back on so it gives you a little bit of more freedom to experiment and decide whether you want some pieces or not. You also can do your zoom down here and get this back to where it was. And so now this gives you the ability to mask just the background um, and have it and have it uh, be edited that way. So once again, these are two different ways to cut out an image. The first one, quick review, we went, we masked it with the marquee. Sorry, we didn't mask it. We marqueed it around and then we went up to edit copy and then edit paste and it placed a new layer and we hid the background layer. And on this one, we just masked the background. They both work pretty much the same way, just a little bit different. 